Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome back. We are live here on the floor of ITW 2023. This is ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV, the official broadcast of ITW 2023. Again, guys, we are here in National Harbor, Maryland, right outside of D.C. You can see it from my window, the little uh, beautiful, monuments. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA, and of course, my longtime friend and um, the CEO of NJFX, New Jersey Fiber Exchange. We have Mr. Gil Santelis. Gil, welcome back to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. Pleasure to be here with you as always. Always, always exciting, and you always have so much news, but for... Our viewers who may not already know, and they should, but just in case we can write this wrong, yeah. give us a little bit of background on your company. So as your viewers know, and of course we spent some time, we started North America's first carrier neutral cable landing station campus. And we were inspired somewhat from what Interaction had done in Marseille. We took advantage of what they had created and started to create a model that was very similar, creating a carrier neutral environment for subsea cables. Mm -hmm. So in the U.S., traditionally, when a cable lands in our country, it was always an incumbent that managed the connections from there inside. What we decided to do is to make it a neutral environment. Any subsea cable could connect to any North American provider and create a real sustainable connectivity network hub. NGFX today, I'm proud to say, has 35 network operators. Wow. So we've grown from the original subsea cables with Tata, a few backhaul providers, to now a vibrant 35 network ecosystem. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. That's Thank really you. exciting. And I noticed on your press releases, your website, um, you you boast unrivaled connectivity. I love that. I love that phrase. Thank you. When you're talking uh, carrier neutral cable landing station campus about, uh, especially for North America. <clears throat> and... Um, Tell us a little bit more about this unique setup being carrier neutral. What does that mean? So, so think of think of subsea cables as the arteries of the internet, mm. right? It's where the main, the main traffic crosses across countries, intercontinental. We tap those arteries with capillarity of networks in North America. We have internet exchanges like DKIX sitting there collecting those networks and then exchanging traffic at the cable landing station. It's the most efficient way to do this. What we've also done is take on the carrier hotel model. So carry hotels traditionally in this country were the ones where networks went to meet because they were major metros. But the reality is they really should have met at the cable station. Yeah. Because the carrier hotels were really just extensions into the U.S. of subsea cables. What we've now done is let the subsea cables bring the traffic there, inter-exchange it, and then continue on another subsea cable. So you could have a European to South American connection or to the Caribbean. It's really just an inter-exchange point. And, you know, uh, as we're talking, it reminds me how global you really are. Um, you work a great deal, of course, with global connectivity, designing network solutions for optimal performance. What are the steps for an enterprise that they can take when, when bringing in design of such a network, yeah. when they're working it, on their design? It's clarity, right? You, you've got to understand how things work, and we take the time to explain to the enterprises. Here are the options you have in terms of fiber providers that come to the facility. Mm -hmm. Make sure they commit to you that the fiber they're going to give you has a certain route to get to our facility. You know which manholes you're coming in at the end, so you have some diversity there. And then on the subsea guy side, we try to connect you directly with the subsea operator. So now there's no misunderstanding of how I got from my data center, call it, in the U.S., out to London, Amsterdam, or even across to Marseille, across, did, did I actually traverse the Suez Canal? We, we try to make sure our, our enterprise, enterprise customers understand what their carriers are doing and get clarity and commitment. Uh, it's such an infrastructure ecosystem. And for you guys to offer that insight and uh, expertise, especially for enterprise customers coming in, that's that's critical. That's amazing. Thank Key you. Key differentiator for sure. Yeah. Um, lastly, what are the trends that you're noticing, especially here in North America? So we're flattered that we have companies that are emulating what we've done. DC Blocks announced Myrtle Beach oh, yeah. as a cable landing station and committed to being carrier neutral, which means they're not going to own and operate a network. And they're hosting now a Google cable and it's public also another cable with Meta that's going to cross over to Europe and South America. So they, like us, are trying to create this ecosystem. We're five years ahead at this point in terms of collecting that capillarity in North America. But but I'm proud to see that they like our model and they're emulating it now here in the U.S. Yeah, We're hoping 
that our platform of trust, and that's what we do, our customers trust that we're going to do the right thing by them by not interfering in their business will expand to other continents. So we're exploring Asia, the Middle East, in terms of other carrier neutral cable landing station plays that might want that NJFX trusted brand. Oh, very interesting. All right. We're going to keep our eye on you. Thank you. And for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? Of course, our website at www.njfx.net. Welcome you to come to our site. Let us know how to reach out to you and set up a time to uh, connect. NJFX.net, guys. Gil Santaliz, as always, a pleasure and honor. Thank you on such a busy day for spending a little time in our hot chair. Uh, my, my pleasure, Jamie, as always. I enjoy our 25-year-plus relationship, and uh, I give you credit to a lot of the success we had early on in helping us get to where we are today, and, and I want to say thank you again. Thank you, Gil. We, no. we always uh, love and appreciate you. Sure. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in here at ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. Happy networking.